is because of love yeah. and it's also she's happy you have to always happy yeah in all circumstances because we follow her mm. if anything makes distress to me mm. then I am not following her Mm. By feeling her happiness, we can also become happy. Means following to her. Following to her. I I just feel that actually the mind is looking for that. The mind is looking for it. Want to be it want to it want to be totally absorbed in this, uh, but uh, it is deviated de- deviating because of our education and of our experiences in life. But when it wants, it's fixed there. Then you are done. There's no other. This is totally absorbed in this, and there is nothing else anymore. Nothing else to to recognize. So, and then the mind becomes your real friend. Then you will find that if any circumstances come to you, all has to be be happy mood. Yes. Why Why you think that only I will see this? Every place I will see. Hmm. Why not feel like this? In every place you see it. I don't create any circumstances. What circumstances he mm. put me? I will behave like this. <coughs> Work like this. Do like this. In all my movement I will feel that I am following that. It's a different view of it. Mm. Huh? Yes, Gurudev, she is creating all the circumstances for us, so we just have to... be lucky, then you know for all her. Yeah. We just have to live that circumstance in, in, in a loving way. Yes, that's the point. Yeah. She's accepting to her. Yeah. Looking to her. Not fight any... She's waiting for her. Mm. Not fight any circumstance, but no, yeah. And you are not following. Yeah. Is more sweet. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's good. This is the only thing we have to do in our life, no? In all circumstances. Yes, in all circumstances. 
As long as he's saying mind is a big problem. No, I didn't say it's a big problem. I said, no, no, I didn't say this. I just said when the mind is fixed there, yeah. then you're done. Yeah, on the contrary, if the mind is not fixed, then... Gurudev, yeah. if the mind is fixed on Radharani, then every every walk in life is a dance. Yes. Every word That's in life is a song. That's what I mean. Yes. I was saying the negative. Yes. Because I see how beautiful things are happening. I do nothing but she she creates everything positive. Qualitiveness mm. is also mercy of her. The dexterity of the corners of her beautiful, playful eyes. The verbal dexterity. Yes, Gurudev. We have to be in flow. Mm. Yeah, our only blockage is our mind. The mind is some too attached to getting, you know, yeah. Our ego and our body identification, this is a blockage. <clears throat> the verbal dexterity of this beautifully formed girl. So everything she speaks is, is sweet. Her dexterity in coming to the trysting place. Everything she speaks means what is happening in the sweet. Uh. What everything she speaks means what is happening she is speaking. Um. What happened in my circumstances? She is speaking through this happening. Mm. Mm. It's her arrangement. It's all the mm. 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 So we have to pray for the intelligence guru there to, to be in the flow. This is conscious. Yeah. How do we recognize, you know, which is the best thing to do. When the sweetness I know feel oh. and we become unconscious. Mm. Mm. That to practice to keep that. Mm. Mm. Is it divine way? Yeah, if you recognize that it is all her arrangement, then, then we can only be happy. There's no place to be unhappy. Her dexterity 
in ever fresh artful pastimes ever fresh artful pastimes and her dexterity in having a festival of laughter hmm hmm and we follow her hmm. when she is happy we are happy we, we, we are the shadow hmm This is the process to see her one day face to face. And grow with her, she becomes shadow in all the way. How I can become shadow if I don't move like this? Mm. Yes, Guru Dev. By becoming the shadow, the object will be visible. Her dexterity in having a festival of laughter and joking with her girlfriends. Shri Radha's six kinds of dexterity. Shri Pada has a clear experience of his service. Wow. Mm. Uh, Vishnu Pada. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sri Pada has a clear experience of his service. In his kinkari form, he brought Mohan out of Chandravali's kunja into the bower of Sri Radha who is waiting for him suffering greatly out of separation from him. You see, yeah. to make her happy ah. the, the shadow has to go to different place. Hmm. Not favorable place. Mm. But he is able to do that unfavorable things. Mm. For making mm. for my goal, anything we can do. Mm. <coughs> yes, Guru She even goes to Chandravali's Kunja. Uh, she even goes to Chandravali's Kunja. Yeah, but it's not favorable. Yeah. But we go on now. Yeah. See, we go in unfavorable place. Mm. And our meditation is mm. perfect and we will not take it. Mm. Right? Yes. The goal is not mm. where I am going. Goal is something else in my mind. Right? But I feel good there that takes a lot of... Uh, You know, a lot of, uh, I don't know what to say, mercy, determination. You know, in my stage I can think, I think it will be too difficult. You say determination, this is the right word. Mm. If the determination is there, nothing is changed. Because mm. the material energy is too strong. I feel like, uh, I, don't, I don't stand a chance. I go to the Tandamari from that in totally reverse circumstances. Yeah. What is not favorable, I have to go there. Yeah. For whom I go? Hmm. To please. 
your mind on. In his kinkari form, he brought Mohan out of Chandravali's kunja into the bower of Sri Radha, who was waiting for him, suffering greatly out of separation from him. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Rasi Kendra Mauli Mohan behaves in a deceitful way only to create waves in the ocean of Sri Radha's sweet love for him and to show the whole world the greatness of her love for him. Rasikendra Mauli Mohan behaves in a deceitful way only to create waves in the ocean of Sri Radha's sweet love for him and to show the whole world the greatness of her love for him. When the Kinkari comes to Radhika's bower with Mohan, she decides not to tell Swamini anything so that she will not become angry and remain submissive to him. They became very happy when they saw each other and they eagerly emerged in an ocean of nectar. When Krishna arrives, Srimati pierces him with Cupid's sharp flower arrows by making her incomparable eyebrows dance. The youthful Cupid of Vrindavana is completely enchanted by it. They became very happy when they saw each other and they eagerly immersed in an ocean of nectar. When Mohan arrives, Srimati pierces him with Cupid's sharp flower arrows by making her incomparable eyebrows dance. The youthful Cupid of Vrindavana is completely enchanted by it. What a wonderful service Srimati is doing with her beautiful eyebrows. The Kinkari sees these are not eyebrows. These are black snakes that bite Mohan's heart and make it burn with desire. The aspirants should think, let me meditate on how you overwhelm your lover with the dancing of your eyebrows. The kinkari glorifies the expert dancing of these eyebrows. The playful glances Swamini expertly casts at Mohan from the corners of her eyes are even more amazing. 
Mohan is enchanted and stares at her without blinking, thinking, Aha! How beautiful are your eyes! He cannot find any comparison, although he searches for it. Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj has written in Govinda Lilamrita to make Radhika's eyes, the Creator collected the most beautiful and qualified things in the world and the non-essential things that were left over fell down on earth to become the black beast, the deer, the chakura birds, the fishes, and the blue lotus flowers. Can you repeat this please? Yes. Sri Krishnadas Kaviraj has written in Govinda Lilamrita to make Radhika's eyes, the Creator collected the most beautiful and qualified things in the world and the non-essential things that were left over fell down on earth to become the black bees, the deer, the chakura birds, the fishes and the blue lotus flowers. Are there any significance behind these particular creations, Gurudev? Because to make happy of your heart, ah. to make she, mm. she can relish different things mm. Mm. and she mm. can forget in this mm. herself in this different type of creation. To me, Krishna says that maybe she will be busy to be with these things and she will sometimes she can forget to me. And every one of these has a special quality. You know, the deer has also restless eyes. They also look this way, that way. And the chakura birds, they are entirely dependent on the lunar moon. The fish can't live without the water. And the blue lotus flowers are more beautiful. And the black bees... Black bee means Krishna. Huh? Mm. Black bees. Black bees, the deer, the chakura birds, the fishes, and the blue lotus flowers. <coughs> Mohan is enchanted by these playful glances and he becomes stunned of ecstasy. Although he is transcendental, ecstasy personified. Her squinted eyes and her slight smile agitate me, he says. Her squinted eyes and her slight smile agitate me. The maid servant glorifies the dexterity of Srimati's hundreds of sweet, playful glances. Varatanu 
fair formed radas verbal dexterity is also amazing Shri Madhupa Goswami writes in Ujjwala Nilamani after, after changing Shri Madhupa Goswami writes in Ujjwala Nilamani she speaks unclear words that are as inscrutable as the perfect mantras from the Kama Shastras. She speaks unclear words that are as inscrutable as the perfect mantras from the Kama Shastras. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pad writes in his Ananda Chandrika commentary mm. on this verse. The grave words the grave words Radhika speaks to Mohan are coming forth from the Vedic mantras, from the Kama Shastra, such as Vasi Karana, bringing under control, Uchatana, agitating, Unmadana, maddening, and Mohana, enchanting. So she's speaking a lot of unclear words, but they can all be summarized as mantras from the Kama Shastras. Mm. That is the clean. Mm. Calm there, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So these words, bringing under control, agitating, Hmm. Maddening hmm. Hmm. and enchanting. Bloody hmm. wall. Hmm. Yeah. Bringing under control, hmm. agitating, hmm. maddening hmm. and enchanting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Varatanu, Radha's words hmm. are all sprinkled. Mm. by the rasa mm. of Mahabhav. Yeah. Yeah. And that is why mm. they have so much influence on Ananda Gana Vigraha. Mm. Mohan, mm. the very form mm. of intense, condensed, transcendental bliss. Varatanu, Radha's words, mm. are all sprinkled by the rasa mm. of Mahabhava. Mm. And that is why they have so much influence mm. on Ananda Gana Vigraha. Mm. Mohan, mm. the very form of intense, condensed, transcendental bliss. Mm. So I'm thinking of uh, mm. a little child speaking to her mother, mm. even though the, the words don't make much sense mm. because of the sweetness, mm. the mother gets calculated. Yeah. <coughs> because of the love coming from Radhika, even though her all word, is coming. All the Baba, all Kama Sastra, the whole book, the entire Kama Sastra. It's uh, yeah. all uh, Samo and Vasika, Uchatana, uh, Uchatana, all uh, this mantra uh, she created. Uh, yeah. 
how cleverly she quarrels with him over the tax on clarified butter, the Dana Lila, or about the ownership of Vrindavana's flowers, the Pushpa China Lila. Sri <coughs> Rupa Goswami says in Ujjwala Nilamani, <coughs> With her verbal quarrels, mm. she enchants even Mohan, mm. the teacher of the goddess of speech. Again. With her verbal quarrels, she enchants mm. even Mohan, the teacher of the goddess of speech. Mm. Goddess of Speech, mm. Saraswati. Mm. Sri Radha's... Again, again, I don't understand. Mm. With her verbal quarrels, mm. she enchants even Mohan, mm. the teacher of Goddess of Speech. Oh, Saraswati. Yes. The Krishna is teaching Saraswati, Saraswati but, and by his verbal discussion, she teaches to Krishna. Yes. Her words are more attractive. Yeah. 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 Sri Radha's dexterity in going to meet Krishna in the trusting bower is also very special. Today, she has given Mohan a hint to come and meet her while pretending to reject his advances. She casts her arrow-like glances at him and tells him with a sly smile, Oh hey, until now, I knew you as a king of Rasikas, but now I understand that you're completely a Rasika. Couldn't you understand the hints I made with my eyes? Because he forgot. Interesting place. Mm. She's mm-hmm. just. So, Sri Radha's dexterity in going to meet Krishna in the trysting bower is also very special. Today, she has given Mohan a hint to come and meet her while pretending to reject his advances. She casts her arrow-like glances at him and tells him with a slight smile, Oh hey, until now I knew you as the king of the Rasikas, but now I understand that you're completely Arasika. Couldn't you understand the hints I made with my eyes? What is this hint? He is telling to Krishna and teaching to Manjari. You have to understand my hints and circumstances what I create for you. If you are Rasika, you will do with love, and in my hints you have to do it. And if you are a seeker, you have no desire for becomes my shadow. Then you are a seeker. Then you will not understand what I want you to. 
you will do like a I will seek up people, like a not who want to be in shadow of me. Mm. <coughs> if you not understand my needs, what I want, mm. you do for me. Then you know understand it. Yeah. What I create circumstances for you mm. is I create. This is my hint is happening to you. Make a rasika. If you follow, you have some rasik power, you have some good feeling, positiveness. Negativeness will not follow or rasika. They are negative. They all think doubtfully why this is not a Radha service. This is the office work. This is my business. I am why your business. Nothing is yours. Is a hint for you to do these directions. You are not Rasika. If you understand the hint of direction, you will follow blindly that with full of love. Right, right. Your mind will be full there, full in service. What is service? Your mind is in service or not service? Arasika has no mind in the flow of service. And Rasika has flow of service. They flow always with the service. <laughs> he said to Krishna, you are Anasika. You don't understand my hints. Hmm? Wow. It's all teaching for the Mandaris. How to be a Rasika? If you are not Rasika, you will not understand. You are not Mandiri, you will not understand what a blockage we create to not to be a Rasika. It's my creation of the philosophy, it's not living. <coughs> we want to follow ritual religious activities to become Arasika. <laughs> Rule and regulation. <laughs> it's all. Every living being sees teaching because she, we say that we want to be a human shadow, how you will become shadow if you are a Sikha? <laughs> Behave like a Sikha and no shadow. Blockage of the, that blockage is a Sikha blockage. <laughs> When I see myself, then I smile for my Arasika blockage. How many obstacles? <coughs> obstacles. They are the obstacles. <coughs> So many layer of the obstacles are there. Material obstacles. We come out from the material obstacles. Okay? By my goodness, I, by good association, my every moment of practice of negative thoughts, I, I, this was big obstacle for me. I come out from that. 
I start flow, flowing in positiveness. I, I come out and feel happy with that. Right? Mm. That the blockage. The what I learned, that creates the blockage. <laughs> <laughs> what I learned, negativeness is which was blockage, and then, then other blockage is creating my philosophy, my knowledge, <laughs> and <laughs> Is all blocked. <laughs> it's all our Siddha. Wait. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So I cannot flow with your know, feelings. I start feeling different. <laughs> I start feeling in different direction to block, to understand what you want to say me. Hmm? Mm. His consciousness, here also unconsciousness. Mm. <laughs> Is a subtle When your stage go grow, <coughs> then you can check it. Past sanskaras, previous sanskaras, very, very hard. How many obstacles are there for a housewife to meet her paramour? Yeah. After that she meet or not? Mm. Obstacles <laughs> is no meaning. If we are counting obstacles is not meaning. But for the lover is no meaning obstacles. He will find the way to meet or not. If his obstacle is not there, then where sweetness will come of meeting? <laughs> if easy mm-hmm. without obstacle yeah. is not sweetness. This is what makes the uh, parakya relishable. The, the, par- obstacle make relishable in parakya wow. yeah. <coughs> And obstacle make you difficult. In sakya wow, sadhana will make you this difficult to be in obstacle. Why obstacle? Mm-hmm. But if the intense love is there, Obstacle is no meaning here. Mm. It's all mercy. <laughs> you one pointedness. Love moves with one way. No block with obstacles. Mm. Right. Mm. We don't give energy. No. He's in the way. So, when she has to go, she dressed like that. Moonlight, she dressed like that. 
breaks up the news. It's dark at night, she not wear white. Dark. This obstacle from Skiddy Road, she practiced to walk on that. Thorns are there, snakes are there, she feared less for that. All obstacles are no obstacle if the moon is fixed in life. And he has become more relishable to meet after that obstacle to your lover. Obstacle will block us. No. Hmm. Obstacles at home, obstacles caused by others. Uh, obstacles caused by others. You go in the office, obstacles. In the home, obstacles. <laughs> no pain. No water is coming. <laughs> no hot water is coming. <laughs> So many obstacles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> many obstacles. You know, in our side. Only obstacles. All obstacles. <laughs> After arranging so many things, obstacles are there. And mind make obstacles. That is a big problem. It's coming. Yeah, go on. Obstacles at home, obstacles caused by others, <laughs> obstacles in the mind. <laughs> Obstacles become relishable. If you are intelligent, conscious. <laughs> Obstacle cannot do any problem to you. Hmm. If you are intelligent. <laughs> Men who like to enjoy to the obstacles and live in obstacles, they are foolish. You cannot teach them. Any person become big, you are sit with them and talk how you grow your life. They win the obstacles. They grow because they not bother for obstacles. A smiling way, they move on with the obstacles. Then they grow it. Right. Yeah. They know how to what escape from the obstacles. Deviate. Deviate from the obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> and reach to the goal. Hmm. They find the solution. Solution for that. And who is not intelligent, they see obstacles block there. <laughs> they don't know how to go on. <laughs> they don't sit idle. They find how to come out from this obstacle. <laughs> <She laughed>. Obstacles are gift us.
If you can win over that obstacles, you will more fast and more strong. in your life. Mm. Obstacles at home, obstacles caused by others, obstacles in the mind, and obstacles in the forest. You went to the forest and Goat run away from home. <laughs> Inside something obstacle, mind is a bit obstacle. If you go to the forest, you will find obstacle. When you are alone, you will find obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, home obstacle or forest obstacle. <laughs> is better yeah. where you are, leave there. Mm. <laughs> With circumstances, you got it. Leave. And if you have a serious one pointed goal in life, it will come and you will find the way to solve it. Mm. That's the beauty. Mm. If you have a belief, if you have a faith, <laughs> if you have a hope and you have a love for that. Mm. Because you love your goal to do it. <coughs> that I do for pleasure of you, my dear, mm. is all your service. I guess our love will make us blind to everything else. <coughs> But Anuraga, continuous passion, is so powerful that it tramples all obstacles underfoot. Mm, mm, mm. You see Anuraga, mm, mm. Ra Raga and Anuraga, explain Raga and Anuraga. Mm. Raga is love, one way, I am showing, I am loving you, I am loving everybody. But Anurag is when you feel the love from others also. There's a Most like, an exchange of feelings. Yeah. I do, and I receive more than I do. That's Anurag. Come. Jai. Jai Anurag. That's Anurag. Are when you feel more from that side, that is Anuraga. <laughs> not as When Anurag you feel, it will more highest. That moment, your inner richness will come in. Whole universe is moving to get one drop of unrock. What is blind? But Anurag. Continuous passion 
is so powerful that it tramples all obstacles. All obstacles. One drop of Anurag. <coughs> all your obstacles will flow like anything you don't know is a obstacles. Because of obstacles we keep like a rock in my front, we cannot see Anurag. Rocks, it become many rocks in the front, in between me and Anurag, exchange of love. So is our rocks, if it break down, when Anurag will come to you. It will cannot stand if it's a big, big rocks like that. It will fall down. What is the word? It tramples to the ground. all obstacles underfoot. Yes. <clears throat> Trample means an elephant, you know, puts his foot on something, it's so powerful it just becomes flat. Like that, that much force. <laughs> so I always say rag and rag. We are in rag only. The moment you reach to the unrag, one drop, Is everything is not happening? Because we have no time to think any other thing. It's so heavy. Effect come inside you of unrivaled. And that and Rag make us reach the person, reaching us inside us, wealthy, all, all austerity. The result of all austerity is Anurag. So, Raga Bhakti is important to reach for Anurag. Why Raga Bhakti is important? Vaidhi Bhakti not will bring you to Anurag. And obstacles will be always there. So you see how merciful Prabhupada was, he first he did writing in his Bhagavad Gita, page 4, that come in the mellow of devotion to develop Raga and Anurag. <coughs> Automatic Raga will bring you to Sarup and Anurag will receive Sarup Siddhi will come. What obstacle will be there? And Rag is the Sarup Siddhi. Sorry, then you understand I'm talking in different language. Because this is a subject of that. Anurag is a success of our life. <coughs> success of everything. Living, art of living, mm. Mm. taking good. birth with the wound of mother and father, mm. all will become successful. Mm. Meaning of life, Perfection will come. Drop of that will create perfection. <coughs> mm. 
there is no obstacle left to remove. Hmm. Obstacle will come up to you and you will see automatic is going back. They cannot stand. That is the muscle. But when we come at the stage of Raga, then it can happen. But Anurag is so powerful that it tramples all obstacles underfoot and helps Srimati to meet her Pranavallabha in an expert way. <coughs> the maid servant glorifies Srimati's dexterity in coming to the trysting place. Mohan is enchanted when he sees the many expert ways in which Sri Radha meets him. Mohan is enchanted when he sees the many expert ways in which Sri Radha meets him. The Rasa Ocean Who will see expert who teach me expert way? Read again. Mohan is enchanted. Ah, surprise. Yeah. The God surprise. I create so much obstacle after you find the way. Mohan is enchanted when he sees the many expert ways in which Sri Radhika meets him. The Rasa Ocean of the Divine Couple's pastimes swells up and the maid servant discreetly leaves the bower. Hmm. Who can teach us how to come over from obstacle? One is the creator of obstacle and one is his, know how to escape from the obstacle. Escaper. Escaper. And she is Radhya. Mm. She is the love mm. who teach us how to escape from the obstacle. And he surprised when the lovers escape all the difficulties and reach to the goal. Read this. Mm. Understand this. The maidservant glorifies no, more of um, how many obstacles mm. are there for a housewife mm. to meet her paramour. Ah, to love her. Paramount? Lover. No. Yeah. Lover outside of marriage. <coughs> yeah. Outside of marriage. Huh? Mm-hmm. How many obstacles? She know how to win. Oh, of course. Oh. Obstacles at home. Obstacles caused by others. Obstacles in the mind and obstacles in the forest. Yeah. Even in the forest where you have looked. 
like this obstacle thing. Because if many are in blocking these obstacles, there's no moving out. Mm-hmm. Uh, underline whole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anurag is so powerful that it tramples all obstacles underfoot. Anurag, red underline. And if you are not greedy, you give up. When they come to obstacles. Anurag is make you greedy mad. You don't know anurag. He's the stuff. Sarup and Sarup Siddhi state. You don't mm-hmm. see any others. That's it. The divine. Uh-huh. But Anurag make you. It's so powerful that it tramples all obstacles underfoot. Trample. What is the meaning of trample? Trample means it, it buries everything under our foot with such force. That the obstacles do not exist anymore. Break down. Yes. Breaks them down into pieces. In pieces. <coughs> it is subject of realization. It is not philosophy. Mm-hmm. So I underline to find these lines are very different. This is the subject to give in Radha. Sure. <coughs> Go on. <coughs> but Anurag is so powerful that it tramples all obstacles underfoot and helps Srimati to meet her Pranavalabha in an expert way. Wow. Up to here. The maid servant glorifies Srimati's dexterity in coming to the trysting place. Mm-hmm. Mohan is enchanted when he maid servants learn mm. watching. When I will watch, I will learn. Mm. One is listening and doing, and one is watching and then learning. If you see, if you watch something and then after do, less mistake will be happen. And by listening you cook something, you do more mistakes, differently. But you see how they are doing step by step. And you do same step by step, never mistake. So he's watching to the maid servant, and they also prepare themselves to do that way. In the service to become a shadow of you, softly. Yeah? Go on. Mohan is enchanted when he sees the many expert ways in which Sri Radhika meets him. The rasa ocean of the divine couple's pastimes swells up and the maidservant discreetly leaves the bower. <coughs> Radha and Mohan now become immersed in a nectar ocean of loving pastimes. The maid servant relishes the ever fresh sweetness of these expert and artful pastimes while looking through 
the holes in the bower's foliage and she glorifies that artful dexterity in the love play. After the pastimes are over, the maid servant enters the bower knowing that her time to serve has come. The maid servant now also shows various kinds of dexterity, expertise in devotional service. The maid servant now also shows various kinds of dexterity, expertise in devotional service. The maid servant also shows various kinds of dexterity. We're watching. The aspirant should glorify Sri Pada's dexterity in devotional service. Now, Lalita, Vishaka, and different other girlfriends enter the bower, covering their mouths with their veils while they giggle about Radhika and Mohan's naughty pastimes. Glories also to the rasa of laughter and joking of Sri Radhika and her girlfriends. <coughs> this is end of verse 64, Guru Dev. Can you repeat the, the, trans, the translation? Glory to the incomparable dexterity of Radha's dancing eyebrows, the dexterity of the corners of her beautiful, playful eyes, the verbal dexterity of this beautifully formed girl, her dexterity in coming to the trysting place, her dexterity in ever fresh artful pastimes and her dexterity in having a festival of laughter and joking with her girlfriends. She has to be dexterous because the girlfriends, the Sakis also come at the end. Mm-hmm. The Sakis, you know, her friends also come at the end. So she has to be talented enough to speak to them also. <laughs> they now see this, but the manjari is the sea, mm-hmm. and who see they learn. Mm-hmm. So the manjari knows all the feeling mm-hmm. and the the subtle, subtle things of Radhika, and she is always connected Rasika, all Rasika not. Mm. She flow with all circumstances mm. in her the life that. What is happening is all her arrangement. Yeah, we are working like a shadow. Shadow means how we will become shadow when you are not every time with with that feeling. 
for the five minutes I am shadow. Or other time I am out of shadow, then my existence is finished. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shadow means shadow every moment. How to be a shadow? To to be with you. That practice. What is happening? It's not my efforts, but I see in all the circumstances to you that is the work of the shadow. This is spiritual, right?